Hello, my name is Uli Walscheid and I'm the Data Protection Evangelist for OpenText Data Protector and I'd like to provide some compelling reasons for you to consider upgrading your data protector environment. The first question, of course, is why even consider upgrading if the product is working fine as it is? I'm sure you, we are all familiar with the phrase, but let's have a little closer look at it. Not upgrading seemed to be reasonable in some situations, but in high tech, not upgrading is typically not a good approach. Let's look at the propeller airplane, for instance. It will get you to your destination, but it will need to refuel a lot, probably taking days to get it to places, and it needs an army of maintenance personnel. The jet airplane would, of course, cut time. It is much more comfortable, efficient, and secure. Talking of security, another good reason for upgrades is security. You don't want your business critical internal data to be unprotected and accessible by everybody. Only when you encrypt and organize with role-based access, you have full control and compliance. Another big shift was to move away from physical servers, which were considered not flexible enough and too cost intensive. Virtual machines took over in many places and are still the majority of deployed systems offering the flexible options many were looking for. However, using cloud-based container workloads has proven to be even more efficient in some places. Now, what are the consequences for backup and recovery? One thing is clear though, upgrades continue to improve functionality and capabilities while adding value to your investment. And the most important thought is one of security. With the increasing threats from cyber attacks and ransomware, you need to ensure the latest security patches and tools are in place, and that can only be assured if you're on the latest version of a product. In the end, your backup infrastructure might not change much over the years, but the rest of your IT will. Maybe a move into cloud or just the introduction of new operating systems and applications. I think we could all agree that nobody really likes to do upgrades, and if we aren't forced to upgrade, why shouldn't we? Well, let's ask some questions to understand the possible benefits of going ahead and performing that upgrade. Is data protector only backing up a couple of servers or an old application or two? Or is it looking after your full environment? Take a little time to review. The newer capabilities may allow you to see that there are, is a whole lot more that Data Protector can potentially do for you. We know data is constantly growing while backup windows are not capable to complete backups in the time available. Additional ways must be sought to increase backup performance using newer capabilities such as block-based backup and deduplication to reduce the amount of data being backed up and enabling multi-stream backups can help boost your performance. This may be obvious, but do you really know how much data is being backed up, where it's all going, and if it's completing on schedule as required? Having the right details reporting capability available can provide not only the assurance that anything is operating as required, but provides insight into ways to make improvements to the systems. All software is constantly evolving, and your backup needs to ensure they support the latest versions and functionality in your mission-critical applications. So not just the data, but the system state can also be restored for fast recovery. Most companies are employing a hybrid approach with some public cloud storage, some private, and some system capped on more traditional storage, perhaps for performance or security or other reasons. But as the new technologies are introduced, you want to be able to move your backups from one technology to the other and not only support the latest cloud storage, but maintain backups on older disk or tape systems as required. And with the above changes, it's not unusual to end up with several different backup solutions providing silent support for different needs. Imagine how much could be saved in license cost, training, maintenance, if some of the different backup solutions could be consolidated into a single tool. Ransomware has been all over the headlines for some time now, and the situation shows no signs of getting any better. While the front-end security attempts to stop it from getting to your data and systems, there's a good chance it will. And having robust backup 
would save you from expensive disasters. Of course, your company would like to save money. Many, if not all items I've touched on are likely to be able to contribute to cost savings in some way, with some having a higher impact than others. So there is a lot to be considered. I'm not going to go through this, as the table shown in this presentation is also available on the news Data Protector License and Upgrade Overview Flyer. What this does show you, however, is just how much you can gain by upgrading to the latest version. Even if you are on a version of Data Protector 10, but not the latest, there are features and capabilities that are only available on the newest releases, such as deduplication and block-based backup. A major consideration as well is the supported availability for the version you are using. Extended support for Data Protector version 9 ended in June 2021, and some DP10 versions are also ending committed support in the meantime. So any of these, or even an older version, will not have the support available that you may need. To be honest, I've been working for Data Protector for more than 15 years, and I sometimes struggle with traditional licensing. There are so many different parts to it, and one aspect is that you only have as access to what you are licensed or paying for. There's limited opportunity to easily try out some of the other capabilities to see what benefits they could provide you. With the premium capacity-based license, you have everything available at no extra charge, so you can assume as many capabilities and features as you want. So with one license based on capacity, it becomes so much simpler to manage cost and predict growth. You have the full power of Data Protector available for you at a very effective price. Let's have a look in more depth at the upgrade path, depending on what release you may be currently running. If you are on a DP version still under committed support, you can directly upgrade to the latest version of DP. If you are on DP10 version not in committed support, you have two options. You can do an interim upgrade to DP1101, since we are going to provide supported guidelines for this step, then upgrade to the latest DP version, or you perform a migration. A migration means you install a new version of DP on the separate system and migrate information from the previous to the new system. If you are on a DP version 9 or older, a migration is mandatory, bringing your system to the most current version. This usually goes in line with platform and operating systems upgrade, since you need to support increased capabilities and support statements. Added information on the practitioner portal explains step-by-step -step procedures on how to handle and prepare the further migration. If you're using one of these old versions, we do admire your loyalty, but please consider upgrading Data Protector. Extremely flexible and capable products which can be, and often is, installed in very complex environments. With this in mind, there are several support and service resources available that can help you. There are lots of support resources available to help you understand the latest capabilities in Data Protector and can aid in planning your upgrade to ensure it goes as smoothly as possible and will cause minimal disruption to your business. We recommend starting by reviewing the product documentation, which includes information on installations, upgrades, and migrations. Another useful area to visit and participate in is the Data Protector community, which encourages discussions among Data Protector users as well as open tech staff. Here you can ask additional questions and glean some insights into the upgrade process. Once you're ready to move forward with the upgrade, you can go to our download page and get the necessary software to perform the task. There are lots of other useful resources and material and links, and we encourage you to explore these to understand what else may be available for you. Reading documentation and watching videos can only get you so far, and there are times where getting some more personal involvement to get you through the process would be a good option. We have a full range of upgrade support services available which can be engaged at different levels. We have a team of professional services consultants and pre-sales engineers who will work with you not only just for upgrades, but also to develop secure business solutions and meet your business goals. The more regular support services offer additional flexibility with services such as the premium support offering, which enhances the open text business support. 
or perhaps you're looking for short-term support and the OpenTech Flexible Credits can give you some access to those resources. And of course, we work very closely with our partners in our marketplace. We'll help with contact routes through a partner that can work with you. But of course, if you're already working with a partner, you can reach out to them and they will help you through the upgrade process. Now you know the benefits and what is available to help you and where to begin. Any upgrade should start with a plan and to create the plan, you need to understand what is involved and what is available to you. The lookbook that probably sent you to this video contains all the resources you need to get started. Use the links in that and get to the various sites and resources I've already outlined. Once you have your plan and upgrade route, you want to start using the assets available and reach out to the support and services resources to help you through the process. Whichever routes you undertake, upgrading Data Protector will not only ensure you maintain reliable backup services and ensure you have business continuity throughout changing technologies, it will also enhance your experience and capabilities by bringing a wider and more capable set of functionality to your solution. Thank you for viewing this video. Just to wrap up, I'd like once again remind you to check out the interactive Data Protector Lookbook here. You will find more detailed information on the Data Protector resources I've just mentioned. These will help you understand the latest advances with Data Protector and help you prepare for your next Data Protector upgrade. We look forward for continuing work with you and your data protection needs. Thank you again and stay safe.